All right, good morning, everybody. Um, adolescence, adolescence, lesson number two. Learn how money's properties work before you turn 18. By the time you turn 18, make sure you understand how money's properties work. If you turn 18 and you do not understand how money's properties work, your public school education has failed you greatly and they don't give a damn because it's not their job to make you smart. It's their job to protect their own interests and their interest is for you to work for them or anybody in their circle for the rest of your life because you're nothing more but a number and a slave. Go ask your mother and your father where your birth certificate is if you don't have access to your own birth certificate. Go look, go look at your birth certificate, pardon me, and then go and look for those red numbers on your birth certificate and ask yourself, why are there red numbers on my birth certificate? That birth certificate is actually printed on something called bond paper, making your actual life a bond worth money. So when you die, someone's getting paid and it's not anybody in your family. It's horrible. So that's really going along the lines of the, the right to travel, artificial persons versus natural persons, artificial corporations versus natural corporations or natural persons. You were born a natural person with the right to travel, but by them incorporating you on bond paper with bond numbers attached to a hospital, which is a corporation, which is owned by the state, which is a corporation, which is owned by the country, which is a corporation, you are a corporate slave. That's all you are. That's why on your ID, your name is spelled in all capital letters, just like McDonald's or Apple or Tesla. You are a corporation and you don't even have ownership of your own properties. So anyway, you want to research stuff like that so you can learn how money's properties actually work. So when we are talking about money's properties in actuality, what we are referring to is the fact that money is a term for fiat currency. When you say money, that means you are extremely financially illiterate. Nobody with a brain uses the word money. Money is what people who don't have it call it. Anybody who has real money knows money is currency. It's called currency. The concept of currency is that you decide what you wanna trade with your friend for resources. You all decide that, hey, I'm gonna give you three Scooby-Doo snacks for two of your Destro Laboratory season episodes or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Boom. That's bartering. That's currency. Anything is currency if it's valued by someone else. That's what makes cryptocurrency so valuable because now you can say what's valuable instead of listening to your government like a little fucking bitch. Anyway, the government don't listen to you. Fuck out of here. You niggas don't listen to me. I ain't listening to you. You know what I'm saying? I real shit. So, understand how money's properties work, man. You have to um, understand how to financially convert your U.S. dollars. You know, it's it's a long gone um, history lesson I would have to give you to to get you privy on what I'm actually talking about, and we're not gonna do that right now. But um, study money's properties, bro. Go to Google and type in money's properties. Type in modern money mechanics. That's the manuscript that the banks use. When you go in the bank and ask them about it, they're gonna play stupid. Bitches not getting my money. So, anyway, um, money's properties. You wanna learn how to financially leverage, bro. I, I didn't learn how to do that until 27, 28, how to actually financially leverage my finances, how to actually convert my finances, how to convert my US dollars, fiat currency, fiat, uh, yeah, fiat currency with no intrinsic value. That's what money is. Fiat currency is money. When you say money, you're talking about fiat currency. You know what I'm saying? So study the uh, study money's properties. Study how to financially leverage, how to financially convert. That's a term that I use. I didn't really come across that term. I kind of made it up. I call it financial conversion. Financial conversion. You take your U.S. dollars and you financially convert them into something else. You have to take your U.S. dollars and financially convert them into something else. Convert them into whatever you want that's legitimate and won't get you killed or thrown in jail. So just invest your U.S. dollars in something else. You have to get them out of U.S. dollars because the U.S. dollar system is set up by America. And America is set up to keep you as a slave. So... That money 
is losing value every single year. So you are literally saving on to a balloon with a hole in it. You're gonna come back with a balloon on the ground. Looking at it like, you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, your balloon economy gonna be off the so that's how it is. It's like, you, you ever bought a banana before? You ever forgot to eat it? What happened to it? What about an apple? Strawberries? Blackberries? Blueberries? Raspberries? Same thing? If you don't eat them, they spoil? Oh, shit. That's a property of life, of nature, of physics? You think that doesn't apply to everything, motherfucker? What? What?